Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So this week I've decided to clean up my system a little bit because I have, I had up to eight OS's on my system and it was time to clean it up. This Friday coming up on the 25th is OpenSUSE Leap 15's release. Late Sunday night I was bored and I just came up with this graphic and I posted it up saying, you know, it's coming out Friday and it just got crazy. The impressions and retweets and likes that I got made me realize how much people are looking forward to it other than me. So I'm going to be installing it. I also started Googling. This is of course me logged out in privacy mode. So I don't get any preferred search results, preferential search results, I guess. And if you, if you search OpenSUSE Leap 15, my video comes up right here and same in YouTube. Again, this is me not logged in, uh, just OpenSUSE, I get Leap. If you type OpenSUSE Leap, it's the second result. If you type OpenSUSE Leap 15, the beta video is the first result. Go away. And uh, of course, if you scroll down the other Leap video. So a lot of my videos show up if you're searching for Leap and I guess it's happening in Twitter too. Anyways, so I have to make room. So I'll show you here what I'm gonna do. You can use your existing system or you can boot with a bootable USB slash DVD. If you look on my drive here, I have two drives in my laptop. So as you can see, I have Ubuntu 16.04, I have Scion Linux, I have a hard drive for storage, I have Solus, I have Salient, I have a swap which one of one of these OS's installed and I don't use. Um, I have Manjaro, Ubuntu 18.04, which I'm running right now, 40 gigs of free space, and then an EFI partition. So I have quite a bit going on. I had more. I've been shuffling things around. And so I'm going to reinstall Manjaro. I just downloaded a new fresh ISO. I'm going to install that. And of course, Friday, I'm going to install OpenSUSE Leap 15, the actual release. I'm not sure how it'll work right now with the beta that I downloaded that I did the video on because it's sort of a rolling release. So the beta is a rolling release, but the final product won't be, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do here now is I need to clean things up and move things around a little bit. So this partition is actually being used. That's why it's locked. So swap off will get rid of that. Um, if you're booting off of a bootable USB or CD, you can install Gparted from the software center or the command line if it's not installed. So do that. It's much better than using the disks. So what I don't want here, I no longer want Solus. I no longer want Salient. I no longer want the swap. And I'm going to also get rid of Manjaro. So this leaves a big space in my drive here of 125 gigs. And I also have some free space here of 40 gigs. And this is my Ubuntu 18.04 that I'm running right now. So I can go, let's make it, this will be my Manjaro. Uh, let's make it 40, yeah, 40. Okay, and let's call it, Manjaro. Always name your systems and also label them. This makes it much easier to figure out what is what. Some utilities will show the label, some utilities will show the name. Gparted shows both, so make sure you label everything here. So I have 86 gigs left and I can leave that for OpenSUSE and I can always resize Manjaro later. So right now it doesn't have a name, it's new partition number one. So this one, what do I have free? I have eight gigs free. 
of Ubuntu 18.04. Resize, move. Let's expand this. Ah, let's expand it all the way, shall we? Resize, apply, apply. And now we wait. Now I'm sure a lot of you were thinking he's resizing the drive that he's using, which is SDA7. But as you can see, it worked. I'm not shrinking it, I'm not moving it, I'm just growing it, which is perfectly fine. So that's all done, so let's close this. Let it refresh. So now this looks a little cleaner. I've got Ubuntu, I have Scion, I have my stuff partition. SDA3, which is the Manjaro partition, is empty right now, but that's where I'm going to install it. It's 40 gigs in size, there's lots of room, so when I when I make my bootable USB stick and I boot in, I just have to make sure to install it in SDA3 and I'm good to go. And what's going to happen is it's going to detect the other operating systems that I have on here and add it to the boot menu. Now the important thing to note here is that since Ubuntu 18.04 is my primary bootloader, it's the one that will start up no matter what every single time, it won't know about Manjaro until I update the grub, which I have to do anyways because I've removed some distros from my system. And that of course is just a matter of sudo update grub. So now it'll reconfigure it with what's on my system now and it's no longer going to add Solus and the other ones that I deleted. So that's done and like I said after Manjaro is installed I'm gonna have to do this again so that it finds Manjaro and adds it to the grub menu. So that's all I'm up to right now. Uh, you can see I've I've trimmed down my system quite a bit. You can see Scion here is SDA 9 because that's how many partitions I had on my system. But now that I'm removing some of the old ones they're being reused again. So yes, I'm reloading Manjaro and OpenSUSE on my systems to check them out again because for the Optimus, NVIDIA Optimus graphics cards, they have awesome power management. You're able to switch between graphics cards. You're able to power down the NVIDIA graphics card completely when it's not being used. And I really want to see if that is still an option. I've been having some discussions in the video that I posted about installing NVIDIA drivers in Ubuntu with, when you have an Optimus card. I want to see if Manjaro and OpenSUSE still got it. In other news, the channel's doing great. I put in a lot of work in my last video. I think it was appreciated. My views and watch time counts are really up my subscribers. 151 new subscribers in the last 28 days, so in the last four weeks, which is pretty amazing. I hit 800 subscribers the other day, and that's awesome. I'm already at 812, so I'm hoping this number here just keeps going up and up and up, because really, it was only four weeks ago I was at 650 subscribers, and now I'm at 812, so I am super happy with that. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, and don't forget to share, don't forget to like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I've noticed that 91% of my views are from people who are not subscribed to me. And 88% of my watch time is from people who are not subscribed. So that's crazy. 12% of my watch time and 8.6% of my views are from subscribers. So guys, if you're not subscribed, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell. Get notified of when I'm putting out new content and don't forget to share it on your other platforms. And as always, you can also follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. Till next time, guys, bash on.